Oh, yay, it worked. <laughs> Sorry for the delay, guys. Facebook's being super weird about connecting to my webcam these last few weeks, and I thought it was just not going to let me on today, but it just did. So, hooray, we're on for another week. <laughs> but I got to figure out what it needs for me to make this work. <laughs> anyway, so I hope all of you guys have had a wonderful week, and I'm so glad you've joined us again for another hymn fest to welcome in the Sabbath with our hymns. Uh, let's start with a word of prayer. Dear God, thank you so much for each and every person listening live tonight, and for each person who's going to join us later, or we'll watch this after the fact. And uh, just be with us and allow us to be a blessing to ourselves and to each other in singing music and praises to you. We love you so much. Amen. All right. Well, uh, you can request a hymn in the comments by leaving the hymn title and the hymn number if you know it. And if you need a copy of the hymnal that we're using and you don't have a physical one with you, you can find one online at sdahymnals.com slash hymnal. If we don't get to your song tonight or if I don't know it, don't worry, I will learn it, and we will sing it on a future hymn fest night. So we have some requests from last week that I'd like to start out with. First, we have a request from Anike for uh, hymn number 468, A Child of the King. So over the last few months, I've been listening to a children's radio show called Discovery Mountain. It's put on by the Voice of Prophecy, and I've been listening to it while I work. And I just finished season five, which is about two siblings whose father, a politician, has been accused of bribery and corruption. They came to Discovery Mountain to get away from the drama and the paparazzi. And along the way, they discover relatives they never knew they had. And they have to deal with how people treat them differently once they find out that they're the governor's children. And they also learn about God for the first time. And they finally come to accept their new identities, not just as the children of a corrupt and wealthy governor, but also as children of a loving and eternal heavenly father. We have a God-given inheritance that surpasses any wealth or prestige that we could ever earn here on earth. Well, we can rest from striving after those things and take comfort in knowing and our identities as children of God. So let's sing together hymn number 468, A Child of the King. My father is rich in houses and lands. He holdeth the wealth of the world in his hands. Of rubies and diamonds, of silver and gold. His coffers are full, he has riches untold. I'm a child of the king, a child of the king, with Jesus my Savior, I'm a child of the king. My father's own son, the Savior of men, once wandered on earth as the poorest of them. But now he is pleading for sinners on high and will give me a home when he comes by and by. I'm a child of the king, a child of the king, with Jesus my savior. I'm a child of the king. I once was an outcast, a stranger on earth, a sinner by choice and an alien by birth. But I've been adopted, my name's in town, and near to a mansion, a robe and a crown. I'm a child of the king, a child of the king, with Jesus my savior, I'm a child of the king. A 
tent or a cottage, oh, why should I care? They're building a palace for me over there. The ways are from home, yet still I may see all glory to God. I'm a child of the King. I'm a child of the King, a child of the King. With Jesus, my Savior, I'm a child of the King. Thank you for requesting that, NK. I never heard that song before, but I really like it. All right, let's see what we got in terms of requests for tonight. Um, I don't know hymn number 37, Brunier. That's one I'll have to write down for later. All right, let's see. Um, oh, I may know 140. No, I don't know that one. Or I learned it, but not, I don't memorized it. <laughs> I think I've seen this one before, but I'm going to have to refresh my memory on that one. Sorry. So I'll write that one down for later. I'm sure I've sung that hymn before, but it's looking at it right now, it's not immediately coming to my mind. <laughs> all right, well, we've got a request from Stephen for hymn number 633, When We All Get to Heaven. Hymn number 633, When We All Get to Heaven. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. While we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sigh. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Let us then be true and faithful, trusting, serving every day. Just one glimpse of him in glory will the toils of life repay. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Onward to the prize before us, soon his beauty will behold. Soon the pearly gates will open, we shall tread the streets of gold. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Amen. Thanks for requesting that, Stephen. I always look forward to you requesting it. <laughs> Speaking of 
songs looking forward to Christ's soon coming. We have a request from last week from Bonnie Parle for Dreams of the Golden Morning. It's a really sweet, beautiful song. So let's sing that one now, shall we? Um, yes. I went to the wrong song there. There we go. Hymn number 205, Gleams of the Golden Morning. As we're experiencing all the trouble in the world right now, it's good to know that we can look forward to a glorious golden morning when we're just going to see Jesus coming in the clouds. And it might not be morning. It might be the middle of the night. But, you know, I like to think of it as morning because, I mean, looking at the sunrise kind of looks like what I imagine Jesus is going to come down looking like, <laughs> you know, all bright and sunny and colorful. Um, so, yeah, let's sing Hymns, Gleams of the Golden Morning. The golden morning is fast approaching, Jesus soon will come to take his faithful and happy children to their promised home. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning piercing through this night of gloom. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning that will burst the tomb. The gospel summons will soon be carried to the nation's realm. The bridegroom will cease to tarry and the trumpet sound. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning piercing through this night of gloom. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning that will burst the tomb. Attended by all the shining angels down the flaming sky, the judge will come and will take his people where they will not die. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning piercing through this night of blue. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning that will burst the tomb. There are those loved ones who have long been parted. We'll all meet that day. The tears of those who are broken hearted will be wiped away. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning piercing through this night of gloom. Oh, we see the gleams of the golden morning that will burst the tomb. Thank you for requesting that, Bonnie. I've never heard that one before either. <laughs> but it's a really pretty simple song. I like it. All right, we got a request for hymn number four, Praise My Soul, the King of Heaven. Do I remember the end of this? Hmm, let me think. I know I know the first line. Hmm, so much of this looks unfamiliar to me. Uh, <laughs> I know, like, the first line, and that's about it. <laughs> So I think this one's going to have to be saved for tomorrow, but I know I'll know it by tomorrow because I know I've sung this before. I, I'm just blanking on it right now. <laughs> so writing that one down for tomorrow. All right, hymn number 12 is Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. Everyone should know that one. <laughs> All right, so this is also known as Ode to Joy, for those of you who might not recognize it, but you should all recognize it. <laughs> Hymn number 12, Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. 
Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord above. Hearts and souls I curse before thee, hail thee as the sun above. Melt the clouds of sin and sadness, drive the dark of doubt away. Giver of immortal gladness, fill us with the light of day. All thy works with joy surround thee, earth and head reflect thy waves. Stars and angels sing around thee, center of unbroken praise. Field and forest, vale and mountain, blossoming mad of flashing sea, chanting bird and flowing fountain, call us to rejoice in thee. Thou art giving and forgiving, ever blessing, ever blessed. Well spring of the joy of living, ocean depth of happy rest. Thou our Father, Christ our Brother, all who live in love are thine. Teach us how to love each other, lift us to the joy divine. Oh, it's been such a long time since I've sung the whole thing of that hymn. <laughs> Thank you for requesting that, Paul. Okie dokie, we've got a request from Brynja for hymn number 300, Rock of Ages. I hope I remember this one, because I know I've learned it. I learned it recently. It's been a while. I don't want to embarrass myself by forgetting the tune. <laughs> Okay, I do remember this. Yay! <laughs> Moment of panic, but I do remember this one. <laughs> All right, hymn number 300, Rock of Ages, requested by Brynja. Rock of Ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the water and the blood from thy riven side which flow be of sin the double cure. Cleanse me from its guilt and power. Not the labors of my hands can fulfill the law's demands. Could my zeal no respite know? Could my tears forever flow? All for sin could not atone. Thou must save and thou alone. When my pilgrim and I close, victor o'er the last of foes. When I soar, when I soar to worlds unknown. And behold thee on my throne, rock of ages, cleft for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Thank you for requesting that, Brynja. It's always good to review, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> um, I know I don't know him number 198. So I'll write that one down. Oh, well, we have seven minutes left. Let's see. I don't think I know hymn number 49. But I will write that one down as well. Got lots of ones to learn or refresh my memory of. Because <laughs> some of these I'm, I think I probably know, but just looking at them I go, ah! <laughs> All right, let's see. I had prepared a couple others, yes? Oh, but that one wasn't one I wanted to end on. Hmm. 
I learned a song that wasn't requested last week, but just seemed fitting for current events. But that's not necessarily a song I want to end on tonight. Um, so let's sing. Ooh, let's sing hymn number 632, Until Then. Another song of longing for Jesus' sin coming. My heart can see when I pause to remember a heartache here is but a stepping stone along a trail that's winding always upward. This troubled world is not my final home. But until then, my heart will go on singing. Until then, with joy I'll carry I don't want to overlap with Pastor John's church family time, which happens right after this at 7.30. So I think this might be a good spot to stay for tonight. But those hymns we didn't get to, I will write down and we'll do as many of them as we can tomorrow. And if there are any that I still don't know by tomorrow, we can do them next week. So yeah, uh, you can join us tomorrow at 7 p.m. And also you can join us tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. We're trying out a new uh, sermon worship service format thing using zoom it's going to be great um <laughs> maybe a little rough because it's our first time but it's going to be great and we would love it if you all joined us and yeah so let's close with a word of prayer for this evening dear god thank you so much for the time we've been able to spend together even if it was a little shortened due to technical difficulties um thank you again for our time and for technology and for each person gathered here this evening. Please bless Pastor John as he delivers to us updates about our church family and happenings at our church and also gives us a nice worship thought and prayer. Thank you again. We love you. Amen. All right. See you guys tomorrow. I hope you stick around for Pastor John's church family time. Love you. Happy Sabbath. <laughs>